Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Stephanie. I'm Tom. We're going to be talking about the curbs on the roads or on the sidewalks, and how they've had some changes made to them over the years, and it's helping people, especially the elderly or the little kiddies. Who have a hard time, you know, stepping up or stepping down from a curb onto the street because it's a little higher than the street, as you know. It's also helping people with、uh, uh, wheelchairs. Oh my gosh, it's so much easier for them. I have a gentleman in my building who、um, has、um, a leg that he had to get replaced, and so he needs very smooth surfaces. And I, I'll be honest, when I'm walking fast, I'm doing my exercising. I tend to go for those curb cuts myself, you know, rather than you know go from a high high position to a low position quickly.、Um, I've fallen once. Well, I fell. I fell quite a few years ago. But it reminds me just to be very careful around the curbs. Uh, right, there are advantages, but unfortunately, there are disadvantages.、Uh, a disadvantage here in Taiwan is, of course, scooters can more easily get onto sidewalks now if, if they're looking for places to park and stuff like that. <laughs> and a lot of scooters are in a big hurry to get that spot they just saw before、True. that other guy gets、yeah. it. So, yeah, they might be、uh, kind of going down the sidewalk pretty fast there. So, yeah, there are pros and cons to. Curbs, or excuse me, curb cuts.、Uh, to confess to all of you, this is the first time I've heard of this term before. But that's what that's called when you get rid of the curb and make it kind of level with the street, so that wheelchairs can get on the sidewalk as just as easily as other people as well.、Mm-hmm. Uh, when I first saw this、uh, term, I thought curb cut. W- Curb cut was a kind of new hairstyle or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't、uh, aware it had a name. I just knew that it was a nice way to,、um, you know, go from the curb then to the street. So we're going to read through today's lesson, and then we'll be back to talk about it. When you're approaching a crosswalk. You might notice a subtle change in the sidewalk. Its curb slopes down to meet street level. This feature, known as a curb cut, was originally designed to help wheelchair users safely and easily access the street. However, its usefulness isn't limited to this group. The curb cut also benefits young children, the elderly, cyclists, people pushing strollers or hand trucks, and more. This example is the origin of the curb cut effect, a phenomenon that has inspired discussion among designers and disability advocates. Simply put, it's the idea that everyone benefits from adjustments made to help disabled people. Such features are essential to daily life for disabled people, but they also make life easier for abled people. Some are even so widespread that they're now standard practice. One such example is closed captioning, originally intended to help deaf people understand movies and TV shows without needing to hear dialogue or sounds. But it's easy to think of other applications for closed captioning. It's convenient for patrons watching TV in a noisy bar or gym, second language learners who want to read as well as listen, or students who use it as a study aid. The curb cut effect can even bring about greater social change. Accommodations for disadvantaged groups level the playing field for all people, so everyone can access opportunities for education, work, or other needs and wants in life. This kind of equity drives economic growth and innovation. It's yet another example that supporting those in need is a win-win situation. Okay, guys, let's get started. The curb cut effect. How how is it、uh, affecting us? How is it helping people? Well, it is helping the disabled,、um, and it's actually helping more than just that particular group of people. So, when you're approaching or coming up to a sidewalk, you might notice a subtle change in the sidewalk. Subtle means something that's quite small. It's a change. Or maybe even a technique that's very small, you you don't notice it right off.、Um, maybe somebody、um, has 
change their hairstyle, but it's very subtle. So unless you were really paying attention, you wouldn't notice it.、Um, my mom was always decorating our house, and my dad would come home, and he would never notice any of it, whether it was subtle or really big. Like we got two new sofas for the family room, and he didn't even notice. Now that's not subtle. Subtle is quite small.、Uh, a, An example of perfumes that might be a, a good example, at least for the ladies, a really subtle,、um, sweet-smelling、uh, fragrance might be just some soap that you're using in the morning to bathe with. Whereas my sister's favorite perfume is called Poison. Oh no! And I'm telling you, it is strong when she comes in. It gives me a headache. But.、Uh, Yeah, that's the difference. Subtle is very, very hard to even notice. Whereas if it's not subtle, wah, it's in your face. Yeah, girls, if you want to get a guy's attention, you've got to be subtle, okay?、Uh, you can't be too obvious, or、yeah. else、uh, you know they don't like that. Well, if you chase guys, they they stop chasing you. Uh, exactly right. So you got to be subtle about it. You do want to express your intention that you're interested in the guy, but don't scare him. Yeah, yeah. You can't just come out and say, "Hey, big boy, I'm interested in you. Let's go out on a date." No, <laughs> that's not going to work. You've got to be much more subtle than that.、Uh, a few little movements, you know, a little glance here and there, stuff like that. Don't scare him off, though. Don't scare them off, indeed. <laughs> but、uh, we're talking about the subtle change in the sidewalk. It's just a little bit of a change that you may、mm. not have noticed, and. What is it? Well, the curb slopes down to meet street level. That's what a curb cut is.、Mm -hmm. And again, that's when the sidewalk level kind of gradually slopes down to street level, so wheelchairs can go up onto the sidewalk more easily. Yeah. Now, its usefulness isn't limited to just the group that might be disabled, whether they're wheelchairs or they have some sort of assistance as they walk. I know some elderly people. People in my neighborhood、uh, use kind of like a, an old umbrella that has a very strong stick on it. They use that to walk around, or you know anybody that might be a little slower as they walk.、Um, it's not just helpful to those or that group of people to the disabled. Notice we put that the in there: the disabled, the deaf, the blind, the needy, the poor. The rich will often use the in front of that、uh, noun to talk about just this general group of people. Who else does the curb cut benefit? Well, it benefits、uh, young children, the elderly, cyclists, people riding bicycles, people pushing strollers or hand trucks, and more. Notice, guys, in the title, we've got curb cut with a hyphen in the middle. Why? Later on, you see that we've separated those two words because the curb cut in the title, they've taken those two words and turned them into an adjective or a singronsu. So that's why they have that hyphen in the middle. It's just a plain verb. Don't put the hyphen in the middle. Right, so curb cuts help out. Excuse me, curb cuts help out elderly people and children, so they don't trip over the curb. They also help out people riding bicycles and people pushing strollers, which of course are carts that have babies in them. Sometimes they have dogs in them,、mm -hmm. and a hand. <laughs> oh, a lot of times.、Uh, a lot of times, especially <laughs> in the city, and、uh, we've got hand trucks, which I believe are those carts that you can put big boxes on, and then you balance it over the wheels, and then you can push. It in and out of a store and stuff like that.、Huh. Uh, they're quite handy if you're trying to like move、uh, big boxes of stuff into a Seven Eleven or something like that. Right. They will be using those hand trucks. Now, this example is the origin of the curb cut effect, and that's the subject of today's lesson. What is that? Well, that is a phenomenon that has inspired discussion among designers and disability advocates. So, a phenomenon is something basically that. Happens, okay. People notice it, and、uh, they talk about it, and it affects people's lives. You could say that a typhoon is a natural phenomenon that we have to prepare for from time to time,、mm -hmm. or、uh, an earthquake is a natural phenomenon, etc. So this is a phenomenon that、uh, people are discussing, and designers and disability advocates are discussing this as well. 
You could also use phenomenon to talk about maybe a really hot band that emerges.、Uh, I remember when the Beatles came out. Actually, I don't. I was too young. But the Beatles were considered to be a phenomenon. Wow, we'd never seen.、Uh, Girls especially go so crazy over a group of guys in a band.、Uh, of course, it was kind of new to have a rock band back then.、Uh, they don't seem very rock to me these days, but they were considered rock and roll when they came out. So they were a phenomenon. So phenomenon doesn't just have to be、uh, something that's built. Or even something that occurs in nature, like、uh, the natural phenomenons that we sometimes run into, it can be something that's just gotten very popular and very hot, and people don't understand what's going on with it. So, yeah, they、um, they have been a phenomenon that have inspired discussions among other designers and people who are looking to make society and the things that people in society have to use、uh, just better for all. So. Simply put, it's the idea that everyone benefits. You get some good points from it, from adjustments made to help disabled people. That's true. So adjustments,、uh, little changes that you make, can be adjustments.、Um, you can also use the word uh, modifications. Um, I had to make some adjustments when I first came to Taiwan. Uh, I wasn't used to、um, so much,、uh, <laughs> so much garlic and soy sauce and everything with the food. But then I, once I became adjusted, see how I, I'm now adjusted.、Um, I loved it. I love the food here. So yeah, they've、um, they've actually been good for everyone. These little adjustments they've been making to help the disabled.、Uh, the disabled can、um, be. Just wow! There's so many different disabled groups. They could be blind, deaf.、Um, they could have、um, mobility issues. It's hard for them to get around.、Uh, maybe they are、uh, just not paying attention. Maybe they're, you know, a little bit autistic, and they don't、mm. notice that the sidewalk is coming to an end. All of these little adjustments to help the disabled have helped everyone. That's basically what the curb cut effect is:、uh, adjustments made for disabled people that benefit everybody. Okay, that brings us to the midway point in our lesson for today. Let's、uh, take a break right now and listen to our Chinese teacher. 大家好，我是派老师。今天讲解的是八月份 Unit Five, the curb cut effect: How helping the disabled helps everyone. 这个单元是一篇克洛兹测验文章，介绍了一种社会效应，英文称作 curb cut effect， 中文翻译成路缘斜坡效应。第一段先解释什么是 curb effect。The curb of a sidewalk slopes down to meet street level。人行道通常比马路高，有个道路工程设计可以让路缘石坡度缓缓下降到路面上。我们现在来解题。先看第一题空格前后的句子。This feature 一直到 its usefulness isn't limited to this group。前一句的文意是原先设计的目的是要方便轮椅使用者安全，轻易的上下马路。后一句的文意是现在受用的对象并不限于这群人。路缘斜坡也让幼童、年长者、脚踏车。摩托车骑士、娃娃车、手推车等使用者都受惠。原先的状况到了现在不一样，需要个转折词连接。所以第一题我们选 B。However， 但是以上所描述受惠对象扩张的现象就是 curb cut effect。老师，请大家看到第一段最后一句的 benefits， 以及第二段第二句的 benefits。虽然两者都是动词。可是用法不一样。第一段里作为及物动词，以物品当主词，解释作让人受惠。The curb cut also benefits young children and the elderly. 路缘斜坡也让幼童和年长者同样受惠。而第二段里头作为不及物动词，后面要加上介系词 from， 才能再加上受词，以人为主词。解释作从中受惠或受惠于。Everyone benefits from adjustments made to help disabled people. 每个人都从这些辅助残障人士的调整当中受惠。
。好，那我们看一下 advocate 这个字哦。第一句 ，a disability advocate 指的是身心障碍者权益保障的推动者。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. 
because we can see the door opening.、Um, perhaps they can't, can hear it, it, they can't hear it. Yeah,、maybe. they can hear it. Or、uh, people are screaming or something. And yeah, the, the light that it's,、uh, it's too hard to pick up.、Hmm. So it's easy to think of other applications for closed captioning. It's convenient for patrons watching TV in a noisy bar or gym. Second language learners like me here in Taiwan who want to read as well as listen. Or、uh, students who use it as a study aid, I really have grown to love them. And so when I go home and there are no subtitles on anything on TV, it is kind of weird for me at first, especially with news. They've got so much going on.、Um, yeah, but it has been very helpful, especially when I go to the gym. You can't turn the sound on, so it's kind of nice to be able to read. What's going on as you sweat? Yep, you can read those subtitles indeed. And、uh, one thing I like about YouTube is that、mm. uh, sometimes they let you pick a different language. Yeah. So sometimes I use that function to practice my Spanish or something like、uh -huh. that.、Uh, although, as you said earlier, they don't always get it right.、Uh, they write、uh, the wrong word there, and you know, oh, that's that's like somebody's name that they don't know, so they just wrote a word that sounds like it. So you have to be smarter than the subtitles sometimes <laughs> to make. Make sure、uh, things are not incorrect,、mm -hmm. or make sure they are correct. And、uh, let's、uh, go on to the next paragraph here. It's the final paragraph. It says the curb cut effect can even bring about greater social change.、Mm. Okay, so yes, it,、uh, it makes things convenient not only for the disabled but for other folks as well. But it can also bring about social change, changes in society. Right, accommodations for disadvantaged groups. Level the playing field for all people. This phrase, "level the playing field," it just means you make everything、um, so everyone has an equal shot at something, so that it's fair. That's leveling the playing field, making something fair. Accommodations. Accommodations are.、Uh, this is a word we use to talk about places where we stay. And stay overnight. Accommodations would be a hotel.、Uh, usually, accommodations you're going to stay there temporarily.、Uh, maybe you're going to be renting a room, or you're staying、um, in a building、uh, for a short stay. Maybe your company is putting you up at a short-term apartment building. Those are accommodations. Accommodation is often used in Taiwan, but I can tell you that. Uh, for the most part, most Americans always use it with an S.、Hmm. We just talk about our accommodations. How are your accommodations? Oh, they're excellent.、Um, accommodations don't necessarily have a place to eat, like a a, a a restaurant that is there in the hotel. It doesn't necessarily have to have a restaurant, but accommodations usually refers to room and board, a place to stay and eat. And those special considerations level the playing field for everybody, so everybody has access to opportunities for education, work, or other needs and wants in life. So yeah, we all basically have the same opportunities thanks to disabled people, and this kind of equity drives economic growth and innovation. Equity, of course, refers to things being equal. That's what equity is. I think that's also used a lot in economics or something.、Mm -hmm. Equity, if you're talking about investments, and innovation, of course, means you're coming up with new ideas and new inventions. Yeah, innovation,、uh, coming up with new ideas, new things to do. You can、uh, even have some innovations on old. Ideas and old、uh, inventions that have been around a long time. People are always looking to improve things. I think we've got some clever people out there who are very innovative.、Um, that would be the adjective form for innovation. Exactly. So yeah, we have、uh, disabled people to thank for lots of things. Maybe for elevators and MRT stations and things like that. It makes it easier to get out of the station sometimes. And maybe you can think of some other advantages as well in your class. To Discussions.、Cool. That brings us to the end of our discussion. It's time now to listen to our Chinese teacher. 接着我们看第二题前一句，也就是第二段第三句。Such features are essential to daily life for disabled people, but they also make life easier for abled people. 像 curve cut 人行道斜坡这样的设计，对身心障碍人士的日常生活来说是必要设施。但也让身心健全的人生活过得比较轻松。接着第二题所在的句子 ，some are even so 空格 
，some 代替有些设施，有些设施甚至于如此的怎么样，以至于现在都变成了标准的做法。我们看选项有 A desperate 急切的 ，B gigantic 巨大的庞大的 ，C widespread 广泛的普遍的 ，D luxurious 奢华的。考量上下文文意，第二题选 C widespread， 意思是。有些设施甚至于如此普遍，以至于现在都变成了标准的做法。那作者又在举了隐藏式字幕 （close captioning） 当做另外一个例子。Close captioning is originally intended to help deaf people understand movies and TV shows without needing to hear dialogue or sounds. 我们看第三题 ，But it's easy to think of other 空格。关于隐藏式字幕，我们很容易就可以想到其他什么呢？包括 watching TV in a noisy bar or gym， 包括呢像在一个比较吵杂的酒吧里面，或者呢像健身房看电视。那我们看第三题选项有哪些 ？A competition 竞赛 ，B application 应用用途 ，C evaluation 评估 ，D prediction 预测。根据上下文文意，第三题选 applications， 意思是关于隐藏字幕，我们很容易就可以想到其他用途。第三段进一步跳脱使用层次，从比较宏观的社会层面来看，第四题的句子 ，the car cup effects can even 空格 greater social change。我们看选项 A watch out for 是小心注意什么 ，B depend on 依靠 C。Take over, 接管 D bring about, 促成。根据上下文文意，第四题选 D bring about， 意思是路缘斜坡效应甚至可以促成社会变革。我们接着看第五题，前一句 This kind of equity drives economic growth and innovation. 这样的平等驱动经济成长和创新。第五题的题干 It's yet another example that supporting. 空格 ，in need is a win-win situation， 就是另外一个例子。什么例子呢？表示需要帮支持、需要帮助的什么，是个双赢的情况。第五题，我们选 A。Those， those in need， 表示 those people in need， 需要帮助的人。好，以上就是我们针对这篇课漏字所做的中文讲解。谢谢大家。That's it for today. Thank you so much for joining us, and please join us again next time for another edition of our program. And please be grateful for all the disabled people around us and for the contributions they make to society. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. Bye.